hello there and welcome back to my channel in today's video i wanted to test out the new and improved blushes that la colors launched i don't know how long they have been out i recently went to dollar tree and i saw these right there and it had new on there and said that it isn't that they are improved and there are these little blushes and there are these little blushes in this type of packaging right here I have the original ones and I wanted to see how the new ones compared. The old ones are in the same style of packaging, they're just a little different. These are, these come in little white cases and the other blushes have like a design in them, like little ridges. These were just smooth. But I wanted to try these out, I wanted to swatch them and do one on each side of my cheek just to see how they compare to the original formula, just to see if there are any differences. So in the video, I will have arm swatches, cheek swatches, and I will be doing a demo of the new formula on one side and the original formula on the other side. So you can see how they compare and if there are any differences. I will also have timestamps listed in the description box below if there's parts you want to skip ahead to, like if you just want to see swatches or you want to see the actual application of the product, I will have that link below. So if you are interested in seeing how these LA Colors blushes perform, I hope you enjoyed the video. Alrighty, I have the six new and revamped blushes on this side and then this side in the white packaging are the original six shades. They all have the same shade names, there's nothing different there. Mostly one of the biggest differences first off is well the packaging, the coloring is different and also as you can see, you have to excuse that, I use these a lot, they're more plain. Whereas the new one has like these little ridges in them, like kind of like a little design to them. That's really the only thing I'm noticing different from them so far. But I want to quickly swatch these and see if there might be any difference between the colors or anything. I don't quite know. Looking at them in the pan, they look all about the same shade, but I just want to see if there is a difference. See how they compare, so I'm going to swatch these right quick and I'll be right back to show you that. Okay, I'm hoping that you can be able to see that with my ring light. I've tried to make the lighting as best as I possibly can. I'm only working with one light, so I hope you can see that. But this is Toast, Berry Plum, Spice, Peach Rose, Sweet Cheeks, and Pink Blush. Now, I will say that I noticed a difference in the new formula, or, or they say it's new and improved. I'm assuming that means the formula has been changed. I noticed that they like this is the new one, new one, new, 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 and new. They build up a lot better on my arm versus the original formula. Now, I also want to point out a couple of things with these blushes because they are different finishes and depending on what you like, you might not like some of these blushes. For example, Toast it has glitter in it. Berry Plum is matte. Spice is like a satin. Peach Rose has glitter. And Sweet Cheeks and Pink Blush are matte. I just wanted to point that out too because I know some people don't like glitter. That personally doesn't bother me. I love it. I love glitter. I love it on my face and anywhere I can possibly put glitter, I'm going to put it. But I am going to also do a live swatch just so you can see how they look. Now, I do want to say that these blushes, both the original and the new ones, you do have to build these up a lot, quite a bit on the cheeks. They're not blushes that have a ton of pigment to them just right out. But I'm going to do a couple of live swatches so you can see what I'm seeing. Some of them are more pigmented than others, like this one to me would be the most pigmented one. It builds up the night. It builds up the strongest but all of them you do have to build up they're not going to give you like a really tremendous amount of pigment at first when i purchased these in the little white packaging they were only a dollar and now with dollar tree's new prices these are a dollar 25 so you know i'm not expecting forty dollar quality from them but they do very well for what their price is so i'm going to do a couple of life swatches we're going to start with the original one first and this one is in the shade sweet cheeks I'm sorry if this looks incredibly awkward. I'm at a weird angle trying to get into the light. I only have my little ring light here with me, so I'm trying to make it so you can see it. Now, here is the newer one. I 
feel like the new formula looks a lot more smooth than the original. So I'm going to swatch a couple of more so you can really see what I'm talking about. All right, Sweet Cheeks to me was more of one of the more bolder shades. So this one is the lightest shade. This one is called Pink Blush. Now, if you have very fair skin, this one is a beautiful blush. This one is my personal favorite. It is very soft, but if you build it up on the cheeks, it's really pretty. So, I'm going to start out with the original one first. Now, as you can see, it's very soft. It's very fair. It's such a pretty little soft pink shade. Now I'm gonna swatch the new one. I feel like the newer formula does feel much more smoother. All right, this one is in the shade Toast. This one was another favorite of mine, so let's live swatch this one. Now, Toast has glitter in the formula, so you might can pick that up on camera. Yeah, there you go. It does have glitter in it, so just be aware of that. I'm going to build that one up a little bit more so you can see. Because mind you, in the first swatches, I did have to build those up quite a bit. Now let's swatch the... I'm going to do another layer because I built up the other one. And you can see how that built up even nicer than the other one. So based on swatches, I do feel like I see a difference in these. So I will say that in swatches, I notice a difference in the formula. The newer ones do build up even more so than the original ones. But the true test will be how they perform on the cheeks. And I will be showing a clip of me applying the new formula on one side and the original formula on the other so we can just kind of see how they build up more with a brush. But I wanted to show a couple of swatches so you can can see if there was a difference in the color. The colors are the exact same shades as the original. These I just feel like build up even more nicer than these and they feel a lot more smoother than the original ones. So there is that. Since I am wearing all peach today, I thought it would be nice to demo the peach rose shade and I'm going to be putting the new one, I'm going to be putting the new formula on this side and then the original formula on this side. So we'll see how they compare. I know in swatches there does seem to be a difference, so I'm going to see how that goes. And for the application, I'm going to be using these e.l.f. blush brushes. These are the same brush, just one is a holiday release, the coloring. So they're the same brush, so I'm going to be using these two. So let's start out with the new one first. So I'm just going to start applying that on this cheek. And just as a reminder, Peach Rose does have glitter in it, and it is noticeable on the cheeks. I just wanted to say that. Now, I personally don't mind glitter, but I know a lot of people don't want it in their face products or their cheek products or anything, so I want to point that out. I'm just going to put a little bit more on. These are really buildable, and you do kind of have to build them up to get them to show up a little bit more. This shade does pretty good by itself, but I do like to add on a little bit extra, mostly because I love a good blushy moment. And there you have Peach Rose. This is the new formula. Now, on the other side, I'm going to use the original Peach Rose. I will say the original Peach Rose has a lot more glitter in it than the new one. Uh, there's still glitter on this side, but this side there's a lot more glitter. I 
Okay, I'm going to go in with the second layer like I did with the other one. Yeah, I feel like it's building up just as nicely, but wow is the glitter way more on this side. You can definitely see it versus this side. Now, it's still here on, on this side of my face, but this side is just like straight up like loose glitter thrown. Like I just threw loose glitter on my face. But the colors are the exact same. It's building up nicely. It's just, I, that's the biggest difference I'm noticing on the cheeks. Is the glitter. I'm going to turn down the lights and we'll come and see if you can see. Uh, I don't know if you can be able to see that or not. This is the dimmest my lights will go. So I don't know if you can see that. But there's a ton more glitter on this side than on this side. Really, that's about the only difference I see applying them side by side on the cheek is just the glitter is different. But they both build up very nicely. I love this color. I love a peachy blush. It's perfect with this eye look, the lip, and my sweater and everything. It's perfect for that. My earrings. I got these little I'm ready for spring earrings. So really, based on this, I will say that if you have the original Peach Rose, you might not want to get the new formula unless you just didn't like how much glitter. Because this side still has it, but it's a little more, I don't want to say subtle, because to me glitter is not subtle. But it's just not as prominent on this side. Like, this side, it's just, as soon as I turn just a little bit to look in my mirror right there, you can see instant glitter. Like, I took loose silver glitter and just it up my face whereas this side it looks like it's more even into the formula like the glitter's not just sitting on top it looks like it's actually spread throughout the blush so that's really the only difference I'm noticing so if you felt like the original had too much glitter then try this one there is still glitter but it looks like it's mixed in better with the blush it's not just sitting on top but all in all these are really affordable blushes I like them. I'm glad I have the original and I'm glad I did pick up the new formula too. They're just nice to have so I don't think you'd be disappointed if you bought them. Just pay attention to the finishes because some have glitter. I think one, there's only one that's a satin and then there are about two or three that are matte so just pay attention to the finish. But yeah, there is Peach Rose. And there you have the arm swatches, the cheek swatches, and the demo. I do hope that this video is helpful for those of you who do own the original blush and were curious about the new formula. And if you did enjoy today's video, I hope that you will please consider subscribing. That would mean so very much to me. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.